You pressed record. <laughs> this is Brooklyn. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If we haven't met yet, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is going to be a huge summer clothing haul. I've been shopping for like summer clothes for like the past two months and I've just accumulated like a ton of stuff. Um, so I thought I would share it with you. Some of it is from like Forever 21. I have like some swim from Romwe, Romwe. Um, and then I have like a ton of thrifted stuff. Like majority of everything is thrifted. So if you're into thrifting like I am, you'll enjoy this video. I'm about to go on vacation in like four days and I'm about to start packing. So I figured I might as well just film this now. And then if you guys are interested in seeing how I style these looks, I will be posting a ton on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, you should definitely follow me. Um, I post over there pretty much every single day. Head on over there and follow me on Instagram. Tell me you're from YouTube and we can like be friends. Yeah. Because I have so many things to share with you, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on into it. I'm gonna start with swim because it's probably one of the things I'm most excited about. I ordered this swim top from, I believe it was Romway. Um, it's pretty popular. I feel like I saw it like all over on like Instagram and Facebook. I just like the color. Um, I love the yellow with like the pretty red pink flowers. Um, I did get the bottoms that went with this, but if you've ordered from these websites before, you probably know it can be like a little hit or miss with like bottoms. Um, and they were super, super cheeky. They were high waisted, which was cute, but like it was just not, mm -mm. I was like, I can't. So since the bottoms that match this didn't really work out, um, I had just a pair of red Forever 21 bottoms that I got with like another swimsuit top. But if you have like a good pair of just like solid bottoms, you can match it with like a bunch of different um, tops which is really nice or bottom, you know, vice versa. And then this is the top that I'm actually talking about. Um, it's from Forever 21 and it's just like a red gingham top. It's super cute. Um, it's a really cool cut. It's really just like basic kind of like scoop neck. It's like the same in front and back, but it's pretty flattering. Um, so yeah, so I'll wear those together and then I have this top as well. So that's like two bathing suits right there and it's only three pieces. This is also from Forever 21. It is this absolutely adorable one piece. One pieces just like didn't look like this when I was a kid. Like I would go to summer camp and need a one piece and it was all like not cute at all. But this one is absolutely adorable. Um, it's got a like cutout right here um, and it hits just like right above the belly button. It's like really flattering. And it's just white with this really pretty like summery like floral print and then it clasps in the back like that. Speaking of one pieces, I have another one here that I thrifted. Um, this one's actually Rue 21, but I got it at Plato's Closet. I was like taking a bunch of clothes there and I was like, oh, I've been wanting a like vertical stripe, um, like colorful swimsuit like this. And this one's really cute. Um, it's low in the back, just like your typical one piece. It doesn't have like any pads in like the boobage area, um, which is, yeah, sometimes they're weird and sometimes they're like actually useful, but I think it'll be fine without them. So I've just gotten like a bunch of scarves whenever I see them, um, like at Goodwill. Um, I'm really into like red and like this coral color. Um, I've got like some smaller ones that are really cute, just like to tie around the neck. Um, I just got this one yesterday. Seriously, like my favorite color right now, that peach color. And then I thought this one would be cute to like tie in my hair for 4th of July because it's just like red and blue. Um, but yeah, I just like scarves right now. I think they're super cute, they're super in, um, and you can do so many things with them. I have a couple more accessories to show you guys before I move on to the actual clothing. So I have been wanting a woven handbag so bad and I was gonna buy one on Amazon, but I was just like holding out. I just believed that I was gonna thrift one. Um, so I found this one yesterday at Goodwill and it's just a really cute like woven um, bag with these awesome like wooden handles. I think that's probably my favorite part about it and then it just like opens like that and has a couple zips in there. I do wish it was a lighter color um, but it's kind of growing on me. I think I'll be able to style it really really cute um, and I just love it for summer. It's just so beachy and like effortless. I love it. Okay so also from Goodwill yesterday literally these are like the last couple things I added to this haul are these shoes here. They're Montego Bay Club. I don't really know if that means anything to anybody, but 
They're just really cute, like beachy, um, like low wedges with like this kind of like woven um, material on the outside and then they have like flowers. Um, but they're really comfortable and flattering on and like easy to walk in. So I think they'll really be cute just to like wear with like a summer dress or like wear on the way to the beach, that kind of thing. And then very similarly, but a little bit different are these wedges. Um, they're closed toed and these are actually a size nine. I'm like a seven and a half or eight, but I tried them on and I can kind of get away with it because it's like closed toed and the back, just the way that it fits is like fine. It's not like they're coming off my feet. So to start off clothing, I have this really cute jumpsuit that my mom actually thrifted for me. It has these like straps that are like braided kind of like leather and then it comes down and it has like leaves on the end of it which is so cute and you just like tie it in the front um, so you don't really need to wear a necklace or anything with it. Um, it's kind of cinched at the waist and then it comes down and it's like a, a pantsuit like romper. So I think this will be perfect for the beach like for a night out to dinner because um, it's like nice and comfortable and like breezy. I have another romper here that I got at Goodwill. It is the brand Cloth and Stone and I looked it up when I brought it home and that's actually a brand that they sell at Anthropology. So probably never would have bought this unless I found it at Goodwill, which is what I did. Um, it's super cute. It's just this like nice nude color and it's really, really soft. And then the back is like my favorite part. It's open in the back. So you can wear it with like a cute bralette or just like over a swimsuit. And then it's just like shorts and it kind of ties in the front there. Super, super cute. Again, very comfortable. I love, love, love rompers for the summer. Okay, so moving on to dresses. I just found this one yesterday at Goodwill. It is Forever 21 um, and it's just this really pretty print. I love this color and I just love how like summery this print is. Yeah, I feel like this is like a men's Hawaiian shirt in dress form and I love it. The next dress I have is this large gingham print dress. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of this stuff like in my like story hauls that I do when I go thrifting, but um, anyway, this one is really cute. It's a little big on, but I think it'll be cute as like a swimsuit cover up. So it just has like these straps in the front and then it ties in the back. And then you kind of come down and it has just like this skirt at the bottom. And then it has like a um, floral print at the very like edge kind of peeking out. Another dress that I found is this really cute halter dress. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the colors in it are just really pretty. They're like red and yellow and green, um, just like kind of like small stripes. Um, and then it's just like, it just kind of hits like right below the knee. So I think this will be really cute with like strappy sandals or like wedges, like those shoes that I just showed you, the like nude ones. Um, but yeah, I think it's super cute. You could also just wear it with like Converse and it would be adorable. Next dress I also thrifted. I wasn't sure about it when I saw it on the hanger, but then I tried it on. I was like, okay, that's actually really cute. Um, so it's just this like high neck dress and it kind of ties in the back. And then on the sides, it has this really pretty like um, lace kind of like doily detailing. This next one has probably become my favorite denim skirt that I own. It's thrifted as well. It's by Bonko Jeans. It was like a um, kind of above the knee denim skirt when I bought it and then I, <laughs> she's trying to get it, and then I cut it um, to kind of being like a little bit lower in the back and then shorter in the front. Um, so it's still super flattering but it's not like very very short with your behind. Um, so yeah, I love this one. It's very high-waisted and looks really cute with like crop tops and stuff. So next I have a denim skort to show you. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said skort. They are back as well as far as I'm concerned. This one is by Westport and it's just a super cute skort that buttons like on the side and of course we have the shorts in the back. It's kind of high-waisted which is really cute and I like to wear it with like a top and like tie it in the front. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I feel like my cheerleader days are like back when I'm wearing this and I love it. The last skirt I have to show you is this one here. It is actually from Target. Um, it's red and just has like little bicycles on it, which is super cute, um, like old school bicycles. And it hits just like a couple inches above the knee. So cute, you can belt it. Be really cute with just a plain white button down, like short sleeve and like tied in the front. Okay, so I have quite a few pairs of shorts to show you guys. I'm gonna go through it fast because shorts are pretty basic. Um, these ones here are from 
Target. I actually thrifted these as well. I'm gonna, I like, I like to tell you guys where they're actually from because like people don't realize that you can find like Target or like Forever 21 at Goodwill, but you can. Um, so yeah, these are originally from Target, but I got them thrifted. They're just a pair of like army green, kind of like comfy shorts. Perfect for like road trips because they're cute, but they're super comfy. Um, and then they have like kind of this like tassel detail down the front. This next pair I actually bought on forever21.com. They were on sale and they had a lot of great reviews. Um, they're just like a kind of comfy white pair of shorts with like a tan and black stripe pattern. And they do have a lining on the inside, which is really nice um, for like white shorts because it's really hard to figure out what kind of underwear to wear with white shorts. Okay, so this next piece is probably my most favorite one out of everything. Um, it is this free people skort that I got at Goodwill. Um, it's absolutely adorable. It's like silky and it has just this really cool beachy like patchwork kind of pattern. Um, and then it kind of zips up the side and then it ties. And I thought it was a skirt at first. I was like, oh, this is gonna be like really short, but it's adorable, so I'm gonna try it on. But it's actually short, so it's so flattering and comfortable on. They were like a perfect fit. I cannot wait, and of course, I'm obsessed with this color right now. Okay, so every single pair of shorts I'm about to show you, I thrifted. We're just gonna say that right now because I feel like I say it with every clothing item I show you. Um, so these here are originally from Urban Outfitters. They are the BDG brand. Um, and they're just a cute pair of summer shorts. They're not high-waisted or anything. They're more like just basic like hip hugger shorts, but they're super flattering. They're rolled on the bottom and I like them. So this next pair is just a pair of light wash Levi shorts. These are so cute. They're a little bit small on me, but I like them just to like throw on and go to the pool or the beach. They're like distressed on the bottom here, which is really cute. They're kind of cut up a little more on one side and I like that. So I really like like different kind of shorts like this. These are no boundaries and instead of being cut on the bottom, they're cut on the top. Um, I don't know if they were originally like this or if like the original owner did this, but I think it's super cute. They're really cute on and they hit me at like a nice place. They're not like booty shorts. They're just like cute summer shorts. So these I like to call my mom shorts. They're a pair of writer's shorts and they're just, they're just mom shorts. They're high-waisted. Um, I fold them so they're like a little bit cuter, like I cuff them up on the bottom. Um, but they're really comfortable. Like I'm just over wearing like super tight, like high-waisted shorts. It's just not comfortable anymore. So mom shorts it is. Speaking of high-waisted shorts, I have always bought like high-waisted jeans from Goodwill and then cut them to like make them shorts. I feel like that's like the normal thing to do. Um, but I would always buy like my size. So therefore when they're like super high-waisted and I cut them and then like you wash them and stuff, they would be so, so tight, like up around my stomach, I would actually get a stomach ache. So this year I bought some that are like a couple sizes up or at least one size up. These are a size six, so I'm usually like a three or a four in jeans. These are actually so cute and comfortable. They were jeans and I just cut them and cuffed them up. And instead of them being like crazy tight around my stomach, they're just like comfortable and like breathable, but they're still high-waisted. Yeah, go a size up if you wanna do high-waisted stuff. It's so much more flattering. Especially if you got a booty, you can stand to go a size up and then it's just like comfortable around your waist. Same thing with these. These are just a army green. You can't really tell on camera. There you go, you can kinda of see there toward the light. Um, but yeah, they're just like a really deep green shorts. Um, they wore jeans and then I cut them and kind of cuffed them on the bottom. Super, super cute. So the last pair of shorts I have to show you are these faded glory ones. Same thing, they were jeans that I cut um, and then I left these like just frayed on the bottom. And then the last pair of pants I have to show you guys are these like elastic capri pants. They're just like really soft, like stretchy denim. And I don't know, I was like hesitant on whether to like cut these into shorts, but they look really cute as capris and I just kind of feel like I'm like Sandy from Greece in them. I don't know, they're super cute. <laughs> okay, so for the final category here, we have shirts. My thing this summer has really been like button down shirts. Um, I just think they look super cute, like short sleeve button downs, just like tied in the front. This one is just like a woven kind of baby blue shirt. 
Um, it buttons down the front and then it's just like collar. So I think that'll be really cute just to like throw on with like a pair of high-waisted shorts. And then along the same lines, I have this white button down shirt with like a collar. This one's like a little nicer. It's just like a different material. But again, it looks really cute just like tied in the front. This shirt here I ordered on forever21.com. This one's so cute. It's just like a gingham um, shirt. It has these straps on the top and then it's off the shoulder and then it has like an actual sleeve. Um, it's a little bit warmer, so like I could probably wear this well into the fall. Um, it's just like a thicker kind of material, but again with the gingham, I love it so, so much. I have a few tank tops to show you guys. This one here is thrifted. It's originally from American Eagle and it's just like a racer back kind of like spaghetti tank top. Um, and then it has just like this striped pattern, but it's like a really nice material. It kind of is like a sweater material. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Um, but it's really cute with like a black bralette and just like shorts. Okay, so this next one here is just a chiffon kind of tank top. It's red and then it has just like these frills down the front. Um, but it's super cute for summertime, just something to like throw on. And then this last top is from Hollister, but I thrifted it and it is just like a kind of like crisscross strapped top and then it's got like a really cute kind of pattern like texture on the front with little buttons and then it's like um I don't know it's like stretchy on the bottom if that makes sense I actually bought this because I wanted to wear it with these shorts but I realized that these stripes are black and this top is navy so I'm gonna wear it with like probably another pair of just like normal shorts but I still think it's super cute the last clothing item I have to show you guys is this sweater that I ordered from forever21.com and normally I wouldn't buy sweaters for the summertime, but because I'm going to the beach, um, it's a little bit colder like on the beach at nighttime. And this one isn't like a normal sweater that you like put your arms through. It's just like kind of like a poncho sweater. So I felt like it would be kind of nice just to have something to throw on. And then it has like a hood on it and it just has that really cute like tassel um, bottom. So super cute for the summertime and I can wear it like in the winter too. So the last item I have to show you guys is not a clothing item and it's not really fashion related whatsoever, but I wanted to show it to you because I'm super excited about it. And it is my new vlog camera. This is the Canon G7X. Um, I have been wanting a new vlog camera so bad because I have just been like slacking on the vlogs. And since we're going on trips this summer and have a lot of exciting things going on, I wanted to be able to document them and document them well. So yeah, we bought this camera. I'm so excited. I've heard great things about it and it also takes really great photos for Instagram, which is awesome. So I don't have to like lug around my DSLR. I wanted to show you guys this so that you can get excited about vlogs again because I know that I am. And yeah, so I feel like this will really just encourage Matt and I to like film more casually um because sometimes it's nice to just sit down and film with like something like this rather than like the whole setup and if you guys have any requests on stuff we should film and just like fun stuff that we should do then let us know but that is it for this video if you made it this far leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece was from this haul and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it it helps me out a ton thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye